Hi there, this is Kawa. What an upcoming week we have. Um, as you can see, we have Madara here, Tentail Shinchiriki. And we have a lot of people who are very upset about this. And I just want to touch on it before we move forward with this video. Because I want to give my very honest opinion on what I feel about this. And I must tell you right now, it's not a very popular opinion. And I'm pretty sure some of you who are watching will not agree with me. But hey, at least hear me out. We're all allowed to have some opinions. So at least hear my opinion and then judge after you hear my opinion. So everyone's really upset about this because Madara, the grand antagonist of the series, is going to cost 150,000 ingots recharge. That translates to $3,000. And everyone's very upset at that. I can understand why some people are upset. But at the same time, I have to say, there is no reason to be upset. So, I'm going to give my honest opinion now that you don't need this unit to enjoy the game. And I will repeat that. You do not need... Madara Uchiha, Ten Tails Jinchuriki, to enjoy this game. He is, I guess you could say he's a glorified trophy for those who can afford him. I'm fine with that. Every game has something like that. There's always some expensive thing that not everybody can afford, and I'm fine with that. People are going to say, well, it's not fair because the price is ridiculous. Well, in their defense, it's their game. They can put whatever price they want. If no one pays for it, then it's fine. Then other people will say, well, there are obviously people who's going to pay for it. That's why they're allowed to do things like this. You're not wrong. But at the same time, yet again, you can't tell someone else that they're not allowed to spend money on something they want to spend money on. It's their money. It's not yours. Don't be upset or jealous that someone else has the money to spend on it. So, that's my opinion on this. It's nothing to be really upset about. And, um, that's really my mindset on things. Like, why are we upset? It, does, it doesn't hinder you from enjoying the game. So, for people who are still here after hearing that, I just want... And you're still upset. I just want you to run through this real quick exercise with me and think about why You're upset at this event about Madara. Is it because He's really expensive Well, I already explained why he's expensive. He's the end-all be-all type unit Well at least villain in the story with a strength of Kaguya But we didn't know of her existence in the story. So Madara is way more hyped than her so, is it the price the issue? Are you upset that it's ingots only? So, what if I told you the event was coupons? 150,000 coupons over the course of a month. Could you afford him? If the answer to that is no, then I don't understand why you're upset. So, let's go to part three of my question, or this exercise. If you had him, could you utilize him? And this is a question going to those people who are always angry at everything. Oh, there's a new ninja. Oh, that's not fair. I can't afford it. Well, could you even use him? Like, I can give you a Heruzen, and if you're 100k, you're not going to do anything with it. Same thing with this Madara. I can give you this Madara, but if you're subpar in power, you're not going to do anything with it. Defeats the purpose. Yet again, I don't know why you would be upset then. So, we can continue this exercise at nauseum, and I could keep bringing up different reasons why you should not be upset about it. But I hope this gives you like some insight into how I feel about it. It's, yeah, it's a really expensive thing, but he's supposed to be special. He's the Ten Tails Jin Shiriki. Madara Uchiha. I expected nothing less from this. Every game has it. 
you can't even tell me that not every game has it, but obviously the price ranges are different for other games. And I understand that. And, and the other argument I see people bring up is, well, if they lower the price, more people can afford it. But why would they do that? They want to keep it exclusive. It's a premium thing. Premium items are sold at a premium price because they're premium. That's the uh, concept. It's capitalism at work here. <laughs> so, I just want to put that out there. And I know there are a lot of other arguments of people being upset about it. Such as, oh, is the game dying? XYZ. No, every game has this type of thing where they would release the main antagonist as a recruitable unit and it's going to be either really hard to get or it's going to be expensive and in this case it's expensive it makes sense i understand why i hope you guys understand why too and not be upset about it there's no thing to be upset about it doesn't hinder you from enjoying the game you can still enjoy the game without him so with that rant out of the way let's return to our events so, um, looking here, we have Naruto suit. Um, I don't remember what he does, and usually if I can't remember what someone does, they're not very impressive. So, he's probably not very impressive. Uh, but he is the monthly sign-in unit, and so he's free. I have no issues with that. Uh, a free unit? That's new? No complaints. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that we get, like, Chosa and all these other random units, but at the same time, these things are given out because new, there are new servers. Not everybody has these units. Like, old players like myself, we've been here for so long, our Chosa's easily 5 stars. But there are new servers who just don't have them. Like, he's not a good ninja to give out. I, I'm not defending them on that point, but I'm defending them on the point that, hey, there are, you know, units that they do need to give out because people just kind of started the game and they don't have them. They could obviously give something better, maybe something from like maybe uh, Conan or something. Something from like one of the early treasures that nobody cares about. But yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, that is the point here that I'm just putting out there that we can't always just think of ourselves. You have to think about the fact that there's new servers. These are really... This free sign-in thing is really for newer servers, not really us. We really do it just for the free coupons. Come on. And I guess the two seal scrolls. Um, okay, so moving down. We have Sasuke. Reni Sharingan. I don't know. I don't... They just say the Renigan Sasuke. But, yeah. Um, I knew he was going to come out. It was <laughs> it was either last week or it was going to be this week because Naruto came out, so it was just bound to be Sasuke right behind him. Um, so I see some people who have opinions about Sasuke being weaker than Naruto or that, oh, you know, Naruto, you know, um, Ashura mode is so OP that you can't compete with him. And I'm just going to say that's so completely not true. And... I can give you the three, the three points where Naruto is considered OP, and then I can debunk that like instantly. People say, oh, well, he's immune. Okay, that doesn't mean anything these days. A lot of people are immune. Uh, that he has a dodge. KCM Naruto has it too. And then the most important thing they like, they like to bring up is, well, he has this lifesteal. It's 25%. And... I have shown that his life steal is not that impressive. He barely heals about half the damage he takes with standard attacks. It's not very impressive. People hype it, making it seem like he can he out heal four people hitting him. That's completely out of scope. There's no way in how unless the uh, like you know the Naruto is just trumping them in power by a lot. Um, but to get back on point. Uh, I personally think Sasuke is better than Naruto. 
Sasuke has the ability to play a support role where if he takes any random collateral damage, he has a chance to chaos you and drain your chakra. Uh, it's really it's a very unique ability. Uh, the only other person who has something like that would be uh, Fu, but that's his puppet, not Sas not you know not himself. Um, and he is his mystery hits relatively hard, and it ignores super armor. Well, it takes your super armor away for the turn, um, but, you know, it's not that important, that part. I, I think his most important thing is that his standard attacks in a line, and his, his um, I don't remember what they call it in English, uh, but uh, I think it was explosive mode. I just know the Chinese one, it was rage mode. Um, they, he gets critical 45 was a 40 or 45 percent something something in the 40s percent of critical so almost every one of his attacks is going to crit you and then if he kills a unit he gets to attack again so i'm just going to point out there that he's a uchiha member there's more uchiha support than there is jinchuriki supports so let's just you know theory craft here if i play this sasuke and I put an Anbu Itachi here, he gets to attack twice with high criticals. And if he kills one of your units, he gets to go again. And if you're playing with clones, he's just gonna go, you know, eat all your clones and then continue on onto your team. And it's gonna hurt. And he's gonna out damage any Naruto's heals. So you have to be really careful with clones against him. Um. I'm personally going to pick him up. I know people are also complaining about him because Naruto was coupons and he isn't. But come on guys, you can't have both. Like, you know, they gave you something already. Come on, be content. <laughs> so, I'm going to come down here and look a little further. Uh, okay, so new breakthrough is the Sasuke Susanoo. Um, I, I want to say it's something amazing because we now have Renegon Sasuke, so it's not really amazing, but... And also, I don't know, are they still doing a 4-star rule on him? Because they are. You have to have him at 4-star first, and then you can get his skills. It, it's a lot, and I don't think anyone's going to really have frags like that laying around. So, we can almost completely ignore it. Uh, the only important thing about it is that he can hit cross teams now. So, he hits, I think, 12 people and ignites them with the mystery. Uh, but, as I said, it's not easy to get. So, I don't think it really matters. Uh, so, moving down, we have the weekly strong ninjas, which is Sasuke Susano. Uh, he's in the slot machine, if I remember correctly. So, we can kind of ignore that because that slot machine is relatively bad. But I can't say it's impossible to get first place because I hit it multiple times before. Uh, but yet again, I don't think anyone really cares about Sasuke Susano like that anymore. Uh, we have the Edo Tensei Hiruzen. He's in Lucky Snatch. So I think he's like 30k coupons to recruit. Uh, for people who don't have him yet and are looking forward to recruiting him, my one suggestion to you is consider the fact can your Hiruzen kill people? If he, I'm, uh, and I'm asking that genuinely. If his mystery on round one does not either cripple the enemy team or kill them, then your Hiruzen is not strong enough and not worth getting. Just putting it out there. Uh, we also have Minato at Otense. We have no idea where he is. Um, I I want to say it's possible he's in Sakura's GIF or the uh, uh, balloons. If he's in either one and he's not too expensive, I might pick him up. But uh, I will also have to say that he's not that great of a unit. Uh, a lot of people like to hype him, like they hype the Naruto, saying, well, he's really good because he has this interrupt team white interrupt yes he does but his mystery cooldown is three turns i don't care that he dodges i don't care that he's immune there's so many ways around that and his mystery has a three turn cooldown he's not good enough to be a move one in my opinion there's just so many better options but 
I'm going to get him because down the line, he. Well, I want to get him if he's available in an easy to, you know, find a easy to pick up event. Because he gets a bond skill where he sets up a barrier where nobody can gain uh, chakra outside of the regular amount you gain each round, which is relatively handy. But yeah, outside of that, he's not that amazing. At least in my opinion, I know a lot of people would like to hype him. I personally think he's trash. <laughs> I I think Joni Minato is better than him in a lot of ways. But hey, my opinions yet again. Uh, and then we also got Kasame Shark Mode. Um, Kasame Shark Mode is kind of outshined by Madara Kage Summit because Madara just does the job better. Uh, unless you absolutely need that chakra draining chase, then I guess Kasame is alright too. But yeah, if you can't afford, if you if you're like almost have this Kasame and you're missing some frags, maybe just pick him up. But I wouldn't go too hard on him. It's just not it's just not worth the time. Um, I don't know what's up with the assist links though. Um, I I never really took notice where they not not working or something. And I see Minato's here. Does he have the barrier now? I don't think so. Well, we'll, we'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, I, I'm i just unclear what exactly they mean that assist links are updated. Because the only person who actually has assist skill among this bunch is Minato. The rest of them don't have anything. So, I don't know. Maybe they were just not active? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay, scrolling down. Uh, Infinite Tsukiyomi, that's where you get the Madara, 130k recharge. It will give you a lot of ultimate essences, it gives you those breakthrough pills, and it also gives you a red quick chakra rune. Um, those show up very, very rarely in the Chinese servers. It's like once or twice a year you see one. <laughs> and I expect nothing less for that rune. Um, there's no other way to get them. They have always been showing up in, in these gigantic recharge events, so it would make sense why ours is here too. But yeah, if you can't afford it, don't bother. You don't need it to enjoy the game. Uh, okay, uh, Platinum Recharge, this is where Sasuke is located. Uh, I find it a little weird that the time period is December 1st to the 7th, because doesn't that roll into next week's events? Because that's what I understand. Um, it's really weird in my opinion uh, but it's probably gonna be a six day recharge I want to say that you will be able to collect Sasuke in six days instead of seven because it was seven you'll get ten extra frags for no reason so uh, it'll probably be like a six day recharge and then you have the option of the seventh um, I'm gonna pick him up uh, I'll showcase him as soon as I get him which is obviously as soon as I can start getting them which is December 1st uh, start getting frags I don't understand why this crazy slot machine is not linked with the Platinum Recharge. Because everybody in their right mind is not going to do the stupid slot machine. And then they're going to instead wait for the Platinum Recharge. It, miss, it just makes more sense that way. If they kept them together, it'll be even better for everybody. But they decided to split it up for some reason. I don't understand it, but there's nothing much to talk about here. Uh... Slot machine is a slot machine. You put in ink, you recharge some ingots, and you get to spin it. They usually cost some crap, but sometimes you get lucky and you get some stuff. Um, we have the deli spending rebate. I personally don't hate this event because uh, you could just like do the lowest one. I think it was like 50, and you can get like some free bells and stuff. And then I think if you do the highest one, you get a bunch of bells and some miyaboku um, items. I don't hate it. It's you know, if you can do it, you can do it. If you can't, whatever. You'll live. Uh, colorful Balloons. Uh, this event, I always liked it. Even if you're not a spender, you get free uh, uh, Shurikens every day. And there's always some cheapy item that gives power. That, you know, it's occasionally a charm box or maybe some Miyapoku items floating around in there for like uh, low uh, points. So you can get like maybe like six or seven um, charm boxes or you can get maybe like 10, 12 of the Miyaboku boxes in here. Um, I have no issues with it. And you know, if you spend some ingots, you get to get more. I never hated it. 
Uh, Sakura's Gift. I know a lot of people don't like it right now because they upgraded the price of the pack to 20. I personally don't remember ever doing this event outside of when I went to recruit Killer B because I never actually liked this event. But you never know. Maybe they put some decent stuff in here. But this is just like the balloons if you're free to play. You get um, free packs every day so you can still at least collect the free power options because there's always like advanced refines in here for like I think five or was it three points each. So yeah, you can get some freebies in here. That helps out, you know, when you're free to play, everything matters. Uh, Naruto's Froggy, I personally love this event. You put in 5k ingots into the biggest frog wallet, and it gives you back a thousand, I mean, a thousand, it gives you back 13k uh, coupons. Nothing to complain about there. Uh, usually you do the first one and the last one, and it gives you back more than what you put in, but it obviously only accepts ingots, but you also have the ingot uh, rebates up here. And you get um, a spending from the uh, balloons. So there's no reason why not to do this if, if you can't afford it, obviously. There's no reason not to do it. Uh, Lucky Snatch is where Hiru's in his, right here. So I think it's like, what, 60k? No, 60k. Uh, 30k? 30k for uh, all his frags. I would not suggest it. Go for going for it because I personally do not like Lucky Snatch. And I feel like you can gain power with that 30k better than getting a Hiru's in. That's just my thing. Uh, we have Konoha Outlets. Uh, this is usually a hit or a miss. Sometimes they have uh, really good deals. Sometimes they just don't. If you spot a good deal, go for it. <laughs> trade trade with you know other people on your server for scratch cards so you can finish yours. But if you don't spot a good deal, just don't go for it. Just like I said, this is a hit or miss. Sometimes they have good stuff. Because like I think last time they had some really cheapy. Uh, Mount Miyaboku training stuff. I bought a crap ton of those, but there are times where you just have like nothing. They have like oh old outfits and some skill books. I I was just looking at it like why would I spend on these? Um, so hit or miss. Uh, if you see something good, you need it. You can pick it up here. Uh, we have the time limited charm rebate. Uh, so in regards to this rebate. Uh, you either do the full 1,000 or you do at least 500. If you can't hit either of those two milestones, do not bother doing it because then you're wasting your charms. You obviously want to rebate as much as you can. A uh, 1,000 is obviously the ideal one, but if you can not hit 1,000 but you could still do the 500, it doesn't hurt to just do the 500 and try to get some power gains there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the activity bag. There's nothing really to see here. This bag is just meh. A lot of meh. <laughs> and this capsule. I never did this event. I, I think this event is stupid. It's one of those you can increase your probability of getting things. Uh, yeah. Not worth the time. I never did it. Um, so I also want to remind everyone that um, even though this is a heavy ingot spending week, that next week is Fukumaru rebates for those who have coupons you and if you can meet the rebate go for it if you cannot just save up some more but yeah uh, don't forget that it's next week so don't go nuts this week if you can avoid it so that's all the events and yeah let me know what you think all right bye